as you pointed out, what it changed for you is when the World Health Organization uh, decided to claim this a global pandemic. And that for many people who are, you know, I guess attuned to the front pages of newspapers and things of that nature, uh, a game changer. But for uh, I think the American public writ large, when uh, a major American sports league decides to suspend um, and the reason why they suspended is because somebody like Rudy Gobert does, in fact, have coronavirus and was actually part of a, I guess, to lack of a better phrase, a viral video of him touching microphones and making light of all of it. And he's the one that comes down with it. And he has since put out something on Instagram today that we'll talk about later on, a public apology. Um, but for that, to me, that's where it affected me in particular, Jay, just to use this as a, a conversation point with you, that when he came down with it, I realized that the concept of playing games without fans was thoroughly not acceptable because he came in contact with his teammates and other teams and other officials and other members of the grand populace that is at games, whether as fans are working there, and then they go out in the community and they get on a plane and they go all over the place. That that was a game changer for me, as well as the NBA, and I, I, I think maybe is eventually the country at large, Jay. Yes, and, and Rich, look, I, I'm certainly not a healthcare expert, but I've done right. a ton of reading on this in the last week, me and, too. and I have to credit some of my, my really good friends that – that are doctors and healthcare professionals that, that have helped me wrap my head around this. And it took me a while to get to what I consider to be the right place. But I've read a lot about this over the last several days. And the thing that struck me was this wasn't just about, uh, you know, you or, or, or I not catching this because, you know, we're, we're low risk. Uh, it's about the spread of it and flattening the curve of the spread so that it doesn't spike and overwhelm our healthcare system, and and it, it's about sort of the idea that uh, it's almost like with, with young young kids in school, uh, you know, like a, a kindergarten class. Uh, the kindergarten class comes comes down with something. They bring it home. They spread it to the parents and the brothers and sisters. They spread it to their you know their elderly parents, higher risk uh, patients, things like that. That's how this stuff works. And to the extent in large gatherings, uh, where 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 the NCAA and the member institutions and the conferences are bringing players and staff, you know, essential staff and fans from literally all over the country, every corner of the country, gathering together and perhaps spreading this and then taking it home and spreading it. Uh, it's irresponsible for these large organizations to continue to, to do that. And especially given uh, uh, the World Health Organization declaring this a pandemic. And we've seen, you know, Disney World and Disneyland right. close their doors. Uh, we, we've seen this, I mentioned the South by Southwest that happened, I believe, last week. Mm -hmm. um, it's not just sports. Sports made it, uh, it, amplified it, I think, for everyone. But, Rich, I still, had, I still had coaches calling saying, hey, you know, I've got doctors telling me that more people die from the flu. And I'm saying, look, you need to, you need to read about this. And I, I sent a couple articles to people. Like, that's not, that is not right. And it is not something you should be saying publicly. You need to learn more about this. Um, and not that I know everything, but I've, I've learned more, and I hope to learn ev even more than, than I've learned in the past, uh, past week or so. Uh, but, but this is not to be trifled with, and, w and we shouldn't panic. Nobody's saying that. But we need to take appropriate steps to make sure that this does not worsen and this does not put a, put a ridiculous strain on our health care system.